welcome to my class. Our topic number two, finding possible values of a random variables. Our objective is to find possible values of random variables. For us to be able to find possible values, let us consider this example. So, for example, we have an experiment and the experiment is uh, tossing a coin. Then we give values to each event. And then we have to set values for the random variable. So, let's have the first one, tossing a coin. Now, for us to deepen our understanding, let's, have, let's take this example. So, we're going to apply the steps in finding outcomes. So, suppose two coins are tossed. Let Z be the random variable representing the number of heads that occur. Then, find the values of the random variable. First, let us illustrate the given uh, illustration by means of this given uh, solution. Let us indicate first the sample space. So, here the sample space, let us use the letter S to illustrate. We have tail tail, tail head, head head, and head tail. Second step, let us Illustrate this in the form of a table by counting the possible outcomes. So let us use the letter Z to illustrate heads. So we have uh, the possible outcome, which is the sample space and the number of Heads or the value of heads, which is letter Z. Okay. Okay. So next, let us now illustrate the or uh, or let us enumerate the sample space. We have tail, 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 head, head, head. And ta head tail. Okay, so number one, we have uh, the number of heads which we are going to illustrate. The first one, we have none because there are two tail. Next, we have one which is tail uh, head. Second is two head and one is tail. So to illustrate what are now our random variable. The number of variable is 0, 1, and 2. So why do we not use 2, 1? Because it is already illustrated. Okay, so that is the random variable. Okay, so let's have the last example. In a box of two balls, one yellow and one white, two balls are picked, one at a time with replacement. Let X or capital X be the random variable representing the number of white balls. Let us now find the values of random variable X, which is the white balls. Okay, by illustration, let us... Uh, um, solve for the first one, the sample space. Okay. So the sample space for the white and yellow ball is white, white, yellow, yellow, white, yellow, or yellow, white. Okay. Second one, let us now illustrate it by looking for the possible outcomes. So, let's have the table, possible outcomes, and then X, which is the number of white balls. Okay, so writing the given sample space or the outcomes here, we have uh, white, white, yellow, yellow, white, yellow, yellow, and white. Now, how many white do we have? The first one, we have two. Second one, do we have white? None, so we have zero. How about the, the second one, third one? We have one white, and the last one is one white. So to be able to determine the random variable x, the possible outcome or the value value of x is we have uh, 
random variable x, which is 0, 1, and 2. Okay, so that is how to get the random variable. So, thank you for watching and happy learning. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Happy learning!